Today's episode, The Great Train Slobbery. <laughs> Thumb shoots. Carmen San Diego's pack of pilfering predators has pounced again. This time, it happened in Siberia, the vast cold region in the Russian Republic. Built in segments over 25 years, the Trans-Siberian Railroad is the longest rail line on Earth. It stretches from Moscow in the west, across plains, deserts, rivers, and three different mountain ranges on its way east to Vladivostok on the Sea of Japan. That's over 5,000 miles of track, Jack. The railroad is the only route to the outside world for hundreds of remote towns in Siberia, or it was until Top Grunt, that belching booger-nosed brigand, rolled up the railroad and rode off with it. Come shoots. It's up to you to get it back. Your mission. Rescue the railroad, grab Grunge, and then capture Carmen San Diego. The crooks on the run, let justice be done. Carmen San Diego. And one of these people could find her. Laron Hines. Amy Quigley. Sriram Gopalan. And this man is special agent in charge of training new recruits, Greg Lee. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Hi, guys. How are you? Doing good? All right, listen, you've heard about the case. Now it's time for us to get started. We're going to start you off with 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Anytime you answer a question correctly, we'll give you 10 more Crime Bucks. And the two of you with the highest score at the end of this round will then proceed to the next round, okay? Chief, let's go. Greg, Top Grunge has stolen the Trans-Siberian Railroad, and there's no time to lose. Now, here's the profile on Top Grunge. Top, Top, Top Grunge! He's got bum sinuses and bad, bad B.O. Oh, oh, uh, yes, yes, ah, uh, hi there. These puzzles were named after architect Erno Rubik. He originally used them as a teaching aid for his students in three-dimensional design. Now, Top Grunge mailed this one to me from Rubik's hometown, Budapest, and I, I just can't seem to get caught. Nabbit. Well, Chief, don't get upset. L let me try to show you. <laughs> okay, but you will never solve it. Anyway, the rail system in Rubik's country is called Georges Vanat. Now, Grunge was last seen barreling down the Georges Vanat tracks with his stolen Trans-Siberian train. There you go, Chief. I got it. See? Take a look. What? How did you do... Well, you have to relax your mind, free yourself of any outside uh, problems. Greg, give that to me. Quit playing with toys. Get back to work. Yes, There's a smelly crook on the loose. Yes, ma'am. Thanks very much. Okay, gumshoes, name the country, if you will, please. Is it Poland, Czechoslovakia, or Hungary? Remember the clues that we heard? Home country of Erno Rubik and town of Budapest. Everybody's ready. Laurent, we'll start with you. What do you say? I chose Hungary. Hungary. What do you think, Amy? I chose Hungary. Uh, Hungary. What do you think, Spiram? I got hungry. Hungry, the answer we're looking for is hungry. Nice job. <laughs> okay, that's where to start that thing off, guys. Everybody goes from 50 to 60 crime bucks, and now that gives us a little extra time to find out about you guys. Well, Ron, tell me about yourself. Um, I'm 13, and I like to play basketball and baseball. Good. Nice to have you on the case. And Amy, how about you? I'm 13, and I love dancing, and I've been dancing since I was five years old, and I won Little Miss Lindenhurst Hurst when I was five. Wonderful. Very nice. And Sri Ram, tell me about you. I'm 13, and I like playing all different sports. Wonderful. Listen, welcome them all to the case, if you would, please. Enjoy yourself, guys. Okay, you're off to a great start. Everybody got that first one right now. For our next clue, we have some news from our bovine, bovine informant. Watch. Oh, that filthy beast hid the train in one of the world's largest railroad tunnels. It's called the Simplon, and it goes through the Alps. He's holed up in a chalet in Lugano, and he's eaten rocklet. That's a divine dish made from my melted cheese with pickled onions and boiled potatoes. Oh, I'm working overtime to keep the supply up. Oh, my aching udders moo. 
Poor cow. Okay, guys, name the country, if you will, please. Is it France, Switzerland, or Italy? Remember the clues that we heard? Simple and rail tunnel through the Alps, chalet in Lugano, and eating raclette. Everybody's ready. Laurent, we'll start with you. What do you say? I chose Switzerland. Switzerland. What do you think, Amy? I chose Italy. Italy. Spiram, what do you think? Greg, I chose France. France. The answer we're looking for is Switzerland. Nice job, Laurent. Okay, so Laurent, you go up to 70, Amy, 60, and Spiram, you have 60. I'm not really expecting anybody. Let me uh, find out who's over here. No! Oh! Dying informant. Give me some time, will you? I'm a little behind. Just hold on one second. Hey, Josh, can you throw me a pillow real quick, please? Yeah, thanks. Okay. Okay, what happened, buddy? What's the matter? Tell me what happened. I was chasing grunge. I got caught in the crossfire of the internal fighting in Kinshasa. Oh, no. So you were shot? No, I was fine. But then there was a herd of charging hippos along the banks of the Zaire River. <laughs> oh, you mean you were trampled then? No, I got away. But then grunge tossed me into the Niragongo volcano. It's still active. Oos, ha, 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 ha. Oh, so you were burned. <laughs> no, I wore my asbestos skivvies. Nice thinking. So, what's the matter then? When I knocked on your door, I got a splinter. <laughs> you know, the next time Norm Abram comes by, I'm going to have him take a look at that. Thanks a lot, guy. Listen, we got a case to go to, though. Good luck. Thanks a lot. Okay, gumshoes, if you will, please name the Central African nation. Is it Uganda? Rwanda or Zaire? Remember the clues that we heard? Internal fighting in Kinshasa and hippos along the Zaire River. Everybody's ready. Laurent, we'll start with you. What do you say? I chose Zaire. Zaire. Amy, what do you think? I also chose Zaire. Zaire. Siaran, what do you think? Greg, I chose Zaire. Zaire. Everyone said the same thing. Everybody's right. Nice job, guys. Okay, so that means Laurent, you have 80, Amy, 70, and Siaran, 70 crime. That's nice job. Okay, that can only mean one thing. It's time for the lightning round, which means each one of these questions is about Top Grunge's most recent known whereabouts, which is Zaire. Again, every correct answer is worth five crime bucks. So, hands on your buzzers. Listen carefully. Here we go. Is Zaire the world's largest producer of copper, industrial diamonds, or rubber? Sriram. Diamonds. Diamonds is right. Nice job. Five for you. Now, listen to this. Okay. This song is by a, a, a Zairean band leader named Sunny Akosans. Is this style of music called hip hop, polka, or high life? Uh, Laurent. High life. High life is right. Nice job. Five for you. <laughs> Question three. Listen carefully now. The Pygmies, the Bedouins, or the uh, Belgians, who were the first to live in Zaire? Laurent. Pygmies. Pygmies are right. Nice job. Five for you. So that means at the end of the lightning round, Laurent, you moved up to 90 crime bucks, Amy 70, and Saram second place now is 75 crime bucks. That's the way to do it, guys. Now, Greg, come into my office. Okay, Chief, I'll be right there. You guys stay with her. I gotta go find out what's going on. Chief, whoa, Chief, what's happening today? Well, the office is being balanced today. Balanced? Mm. What do you mean, balanced? Well, as a building gets older, it, it settles, usually unevenly, and uh, every few years, the Acme Balancing Bureau, they come in and they rebalance my office. No kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Son of a gun. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how close are you to nabbing Carmen? Well, that's a very good question, Chief. You know, she can be very elusive sometimes. Sometimes she's over here, and we think we've got her, and then we got to move back over this way, and she's right back. Are you feeling okay there, Chief? You look maybe sick. I get the point, Greg. I would hope so, Chief. You know, sometimes when I think of some of the capers she's pulled, yeah. it, it uh, turns my stomach, yeah. too. Uh, what do you think we ought to give the gumshoe that captures Carmen San Diego? You know, I've been thinking about this, and part of me says... Uh, Greg! Uh, Let's give the gumshoe who nabs Carmen San Diego a free trip to anywhere in North America. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Because that way, if she's over here, we're going to know she's right there. And then right before she moves, we'll be right over there. And Greg, Chief... You don't look so good. Greg, I'll feel a lot better when you go away. Chief, someday you're gonna miss me. Hey guys, check it out. A little something that uh, Norm Abram left last time he was here. Just, uh, we're okay. 
Okay, Gumshoes, remember, we're still after Grunge and the train. Fortunately for us, though, Acme Bugnet has just intercepted this phone conversation between Grunge and Carmen San Diego. Watch. Turn your tracks towards the highest capital city in the world, La Paz. <laughs> but, Carmen, that's 12,000 feet above sea level. <clears throat> the altitude is hard on my sinuses. Well, your smell is hard on my sinuses, so we're even. When you get there, disappear in La Diablada. What's that? It's Spanish for Dance of the Demons, a huge festival during Lent. There's a parade of dancers disguised as devils. You'll have to get a costume. I don't need a devil costume. <coughs> I already look like heck. <coughs> okay, gumshoes, name the country, if you will, please. Is it Bolivia, Brazil, or Guyana? Remember the clues that we heard? La Paz, world's, world's highest capital, Spanish language, and La Diablada during Lent. Looks like everybody's ready. Laron, we'll start with you. What do you say? I chose Bolivia. <laughs> Bolivia, what do you think, Amy? I also chose Bolivia. Bolivia, Spiron, what do you think? Bolivia. Bolivia, the answer we're looking for is Bolivia. <laughs> nice job, guys. Okay, so that means, Laron, you have 100 crime bucks, Amy, 80, and Spiron, 85 crime bucks. That's the way to do it, guys. Now, we heard that Top Grunge has left Bolivia, so it's time that we pick up the chase. Ooh, the chase. Remember the uh, Rubik's Cube from earlier? Call back. Okay, all these are worth five crime bucks. Hands on your buzzers, please. Watch the monitor and listen carefully. Here we go. Top Grunge trundled his train to the capital of Ontario, Canada. Name it. Laron. Montreal. Sorry, it's Toronto. From Toronto, he boogied southeast to New York. What lake did he cross? Spiram. Erie. Uh, sorry, it's Ontario. From New York, he chugged northeast to Kenny Bunkport. Name the state he's in. Amy. Maine. Maine is right. Then he crossed the border north into another country. Name it. Spiram. Canada. Canada's right. Now he's back in the U.S. again. He's headed south for the Revolutionary War battlefield. Amy. Massachusetts. Massachusetts is right. Nice job. Okay, so that means at the end of the chase round, Laron has 100, Amy 90, Spiram 90 crime bucks. Nice job, guys. Okay. Now, this is really close right now, which means what I'm going to tell you next is even more important because now it's time for the final clue of this round, which means you have to decide how much you want to risk. If you're right, we'll add that amount to your score. If you're not right, though, we'll subtract it from your score. You can risk 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, or 50 Acme Crime Bucks. Take a look right over here, if you will, please. Here is a portion of the world where we think grunge is headed. Now, if you know a lot about this part of the world, you may want to risk a lot. If you don't know very much about it, though, you may not want to risk quite so much. So, take a look at the map and think about it. Okay, it looks like everybody's ready now, Gum Shoes. We have a field report from Acme Weirdnet agents, Blue Man Group. Watch the clues carefully. Gumshoes, name the geographic region. Is it Southwest, Great Plains, or New England? Remember the clues that we saw, Dust Bowl, Prairie Dogs, and Mount Rushmore. Once you have an answer, lay it down right there in front of you. Looks like everybody's done it. Uh, Sriram, we're going to start with you. You have 90 crime bucks. How much did you risk? Craig, I wagered 40. 40 crime bucks. If you're right, you'll be back in this thing definitely. What'd you say? I said Great Plains. Great Plains is right. Nice job. Takes you to 130. All right, Amy, you have 90 crime bucks. How much did you risk? I risked 20. 20 crime bucks. What'd you say? I also said great plan. Nice job. Okay. <laughs> Takes you up to 110. Laron, you were ahead at the at the beginning of this round. Before you show me your answer, how much did you risk? I risked 30. 30 crime bucks. That means if you're right, you'll be tied with Sriram, and he, you and he will go on to the next round. What'd you say? I said great plans. Nice job. That means Laron and Sriram, you're going on to the next round. Amy, listen, you are a great detective. You are in this thing to the very end. Uh, we've assembled a kit that's going to help you in your next case. Chief. It's the official Acme Crime Net Travel Kit, and it includes an atlas for world travelers, an official Carmen watch, a Carmen t-shirt, a subscription to National Geographic World Magazine, and for quick reference when you're pounding the pavement, 
this handy world globe. I, I'm, I'm convinced somebody is moving that thing, Chief, because you, you normally get that thing. Okay, guys, now, uh, it's time for you to go to the Great Plains to try to track down Top Grunge and the railroad. What you have to do is find them and bring them back. But, as you know, we did not send our agents out into the field unprepared. Uh, Chief, how about a briefing? <laughs> the folks down at Acme Photo Recon have put together a few slides on the Great Plains. Now, have a look. The Great Plains a high, often grassy slope running down the middle of North America that produces most of its wheat and livestock. Now check out Crazy Horse Memorial in South Dakota. This gigantic sculpture of the Sioux Chief is still being built. When completed, it may well be the largest sculpture in the world. Now check with these Kansas hoofnet agents, but keep your ears peeled for top grunge in the train. If you hear moo moo, choo choo, achoo achoo, you know who. Although most of the Great Plains has been settled and cultivated, it's still home to many wild animals. Deer, prairie dogs, rattlesnakes, and even these majestic, mighty bison. Lincoln, Nebraska. The Great Plains is in all fields, farms, and memorials. Grunge could be in a big city like Lincoln, or perhaps Kansas City, Omaha, or Des Moines. Now, this house has been struck by a tornado, a furious funnel of wind that can rip a roof off a house, or worse. As the sign reminds you, it was a Kansas tornado that sent Dorothy over the rainbow in The Wizard of Oz. Nebraska's car hinge, a replica of England's stone hinge, but made of junked cars. Now, Top Grunge was so excited by this that he made his own sculpture of used tissues and called it Flim Hinge. It sounds funny, but it's not. Top Grunge and the Trans-Siberian Railroad are somewhere in the Great Plains. Go get them, gumshoes. All right, guys, here we are on the Great Plains. Set your stuff right down here. <laughs> Take a walk right over there. Let me show you. Just step right this way, gentlemen. Here you go, right that way. Let me show you what we have here. Here are the possible locations where we're up. Wait a minute. We're okay. Sorry. Here are the possible locations where you will be able to find Top Grunge, the uh, loot, and a warrant for Grunge's arrest. Now, the first thing you have to do is find the loot. That's the evidence you need so you can get a warrant. With the warrant, you can then arrest the crook. Now, connect all three of those things in that order in a single turn, and you get a chance to try to catch Carmen San Diego. Catch Carmen San Diego, and you get that trip to anywhere in North America. One more thing, as always, if you happen upon the loot, the warrant, or the crook, you get a free turn. Okay, the two of you were tied at the end of the last round, and uh, we flipped the coin, and it's Ram, you won that coin toss, so you go first. Uh, Greg, I'll pick the science station. Science station. Sorry, nothing there, but we're on our way. Laron, go ahead. Mormon Trail. Mormon Trail. Nope, not there, but it cuts all the way through Nebraska. Sri Ram, go Black ahead. Black Hills. What is it? Black Hills. Black Hills. Nope, nothing there. Laron. Drift pra Prairie. Drift Prairie. Come on, gumshoes, find the locomotion. <laughs> That's very nice. Okay, you found the loot. You get a free turn. Go ahead. Lake Sakakawa. Oh, uh, that's uh, Lake Sakakawea. Yeah, that's a tough one. Okay, nothing there, but you found the loot. Nice job, Laurence. Uh, Sriram, go ahead. Uh, Bush Stadium. Bush Stadium. Not there, but if you want to see the Cardinals play, that's the place to go. Laurent, go ahead. Drift Prairie. Drift Prairie. Oh, that midnight train to Georgia. <laughs> that was sweet. Okay, go ahead. Free turn. Go ahead. University of Arkansas. University of Arkansas. The warrant. Whoa, nice job. You got the loot, you got the warrant. Can you find Top Grunge? Go ahead. Wind Cave National Park. Wind Cave National Park. No, not there, but you've done a nice job finding the loot and the warrant. Sri Ram, go ahead. Drift Prairie. Drift Prairie. Pardon me, boy. Is that the trans I hear you choo choo? <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, Sri Ram, go ahead. University of Arkansas. University of Arkansas. The warrant. Go ahead. Interstate 29? Uh, I-29. No! But if you want to get anywhere, that's the place to go if you're in the Great Plains. Go ahead, Laurent. Drift Prairie. Drift Prairie. Look between. <laughs> go ahead, Laurent. University of Arkansas. <laughs> University of Arkansas. Don't bar it. Need just one more. Where's Top Grunge? Go ahead. Car Uh On the top, Car Henge. Yeah! yeah. That's where he is. You're good! Nice job, man. Very good. Listen, you got Top Grunge. Now all I have to do is put him in jail, pull on this chain, and do it. Top Grunge! Yeah. One more time.
hard time. You're, 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 you know what Carhenge is? It's like Stonehenge that's in England, only it's all made out of cars. It's in Nebraska. It's very good. You ought to come see it. Anyway, we're going to talk about your next adventure in just a little bit uh, when you try to catch Carmen San Diego. Uh, Spiron, listen, you are a great detective. You track grunge all the way here. We have something very special for you. Chief. A gumshoe needs to be in touch with the whole world, and that's why I'm giving you this world band radio so you can tune into broadcasts from all around the globe. Congratulations. Thanks, Chief. Okay, Laurent, now what you have to do is tell us where you'd like to go if you catch Carmen San Diego and get that trip. Inside, there's a piece of paper, there's also a pen. Do it. Here he goes. <laughs> So, okay, look, man, you got the uh, grunge, you got the loot. Now all I have to do is get Carmen San Diego. And in order to do that, we have to find out where she is. And uh, usually we get that information right from this phone. Hello? Greg, it's Norm Abram without an S. Uh, Norm, I'm sorry. We thought it had the S. We'll take it off. Listen, you have to catch Carmen San Diego. She ran off with my plunge router guide. How am I supposed to build that scale model of the Taj Mahal out of cherry wood without my plunge router guy? You've got to do something, Greg. Well, now, Norm, far be it for me to give you advice, but I would use a brace in a bit. Thanks, Greg. Bye. That was, that was Norm Abrams. You know him? He's great. He's absolutely my favorite guy. So that wasn't the information we're looking for, but, uh, you know, we'll possibly just say just one sec. Norm is phenomenal. Yes, hello. Yeah, he's right here. Hold on. Hello? I'm getting lonely here in jail. <laughs> Me without Carmen is like a dog without a flea. <coughs> You'll find her in Africa. <laughs> uh, what do you say, Laron? You say we're going to Africa. Going to Africa. Amazing. Norm Abram and Top Grunge in one day. Looks like you and I are going to Africa. Chief! Here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled. Senegal. Morocco. Burkina Faso. Ghana. Chad. Zaire, Angola, Egypt, Zimbabwe, South Africa, Ethiopia, Kenya, Madagascar. I feel good. Greg, let's go to the map. All right. You know what this is, right? Yeah. Okay, this is what it's all about. What you have to do now is track Carmen San Diego through eight different countries, identifying each with a marker. When you are right, you will hear this sound. But when you're wrong, you will hear this sound. Now, this is very important. If you hear that wrong sound two times on one marker, leave the marker where it is, come on back, and we'll continue. But if you get eight right in 45 seconds, you will then win that trip. Does that sound okay to you? Yes. Really? Yeah. Sound okay to you guys? Yeah. I think so, too. Come on, Ron, let's do this thing. Let's get 45 seconds up on the clock. All your buddies are here. We want you to do your best here. Good luck to you, Laron. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Carmen went to Zimbabwe. 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 Do it fast. Do it fast. That's not it. Hurry. Try it again. No, come on back. Come on back. Ethiopia. You know this one. Ethiopia. No, sorry. Ethiopia. Try it again. Ethiopia. Come on, Laron. Yeah, you got it. Burkina Faso. Burkina Faso. Do it, Laurent. Come on, come on. Cheer him on, you guys. Nope, that's not it. Try it again. No, sorry. Madagascar. You know this one. Madagascar. Cheer him on, guys. Cheer him on. Madagascar. There she blows. Chad. Come on to Chad. You got it. Come on. Kenya. 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 Do it. Do it. You got it. Come on. Come on. Angola. Ang oh, how many? He got four in 45 seconds. That isn't bad. Come on over here, Laurent. Nice job, man. Give him a hand, you guys. Come on, give him a hand. Listen, that's not bad. Four and 45 seconds. Uh, remember, though, you didn't lose this thing. You got the crook. You got the loot. You did what you were supposed to do. Chief, what do you say? We're all proud of the work you did throughout the day. And for your good work, I hereby upgrade you. You are now a sleuth. Congratulations. Congratulations, we're no longer just a gumshoe, now you're a sleuth, which means we got rid of that uh, gumshoe jacket, and now you get to wear the official Carmen San Diego sleuth jacket. What do you guys think of that? What's that on? That thing on there. I have to get a bigger size for you. Definitely have to get a bigger size for him. Oh, that looks good. Nice job. Very nice. Okay. Listen, you've been doing a lot of great stuff for us today. There's one more thing I want you to do. You know what it is? Do it! Rock a
Well, she sneaks around the world from Bia to Carolina. She's a sticky finger filter from Berlin down to Belize. Take me for a ride on a slow boat to China. Tell me where in the world is Berlin, San Diego. Steal their soul in South Korea. Make it very quick like Uncle Cooper. Speaking for where in the world is Carmen San Diego? And remember, chiselers, burglars, thieves, brigands, acne gives them swollen glin glands, glins. All contestants have been briefed regarding game rules prior to their appearance. All geographic information was accurate as of the date this program was recorded. This program was bankrolled by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by viewers like you.